Assalamu alaikum, my reading buddies. How are you doing today? Uh, today I am back with a new story, a Little Red Kofi, a Ramadan story written by Fazia Jelani Williams. And to help me read the story and help me make the surprise at the end of the story, I have two special guests with me today. What is your name? Fariha. Fariha Khan. She goes to Al Rahman Nursery. What do you have with you today, Fariha? Can you show it to us? A camel. A camel. There is a hint now. We have a camel with us today. So please look out for that clue, inshallah. Now I have my another guest here is, what's your name? Zarya Khan. Zarya Khan. She goes to Al Rahma School. Which grade are you in, Zarya? Third. Third grade. Awesome. So are you guys ready to read um, the story with me? Um, I'm 22. Yeah, you're 22? <laughs> no, I think you are just two. You're not 22 yet. <laughs> okay. So are you ready with the for the story, Zaria? No. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Let's get yeah. ready. Let me share the screen. While I'm sharing the screen, Zaria, can you please uh, uh, share? What are the things that they need to make the surprise at the end of the story? What are the items that they need? Um, they need a paper, a piece of paper, and they need scissors. And scissors. That's it. Our cra craft is going to be very simple today. A piece of paper and a pair of scissors. That's it. Okay. Little Red Kufi, a Ramadan story. Adapted by Fazia Jelani Williams. Let's step it down. Yes. Once upon a time, there lived a little boy who was loved by everyone, but most of all by his grandmother. Grandmother and grandparents, they always love the grandchildren very much, right? They spoil them. Yes. Yes. Where is your grandma, grandparents, Arya? In India. They are in India. That's right. But we get to see them, uh, alhamdulillah, every year. Every Eid, this gra his grandmother would make him a little red kufi. The little boy wore his red kufi everywhere. So everyone called him little red kufi. Oh, I wonder why he wore it everywhere, Zaria. Why do you think he might have wore it? Because he likes it. Because he likes it? Maybe because grandmother, uh, because his grandmother made it, he likes it. Okay, so you want to read the next page now for me? Little Red Goofy lived in a house near a date grove. Near a date grove. Hmm. What is a date grove? A date grove is where there are a lot of dates. There are a lot of date plants, right? You see here, all these date trees, they are growing. The, all the date trees and you see his house here, mashallah. One day during Ramadan, his mother said, Little Red Kufi, please take this basket of dates to the masjid so that the people can break their fast at sunset. Yes, Mama, inshallah, said Little Red Kofi. I will take the basket right away. Mashallah, that is such a nice and kind gesture that the mom is sending some dates to the masjid. Any clues why she might be sending dates to the masjid? So that, um, so that the... Uh people in the masjid can break their back. Yeah. Yeah. He's going to take this Like some, uh, in Ramadan, when uh, uh, at ISB, some people, they donate stuff, uh, food items and dates and the all different kinds of foods to the masjid to feed the um, people who are at the masjid to break the fast, right? Inshallah. It reminds me of that. Inshallah. This year, uh, we were not able to go off for any of the iftars because masjid is closed. Do you miss going there? Yeah. For iftar okay. and tarawi? Yeah. May, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, 
remove this disease and so that we can go to the masjid, inshallah, as soon as we can. Yeah. Be sure that you don't talk to any strangers, warned mama. And inshallah, keep your fast. Yes, mama, inshallah, said let, uh, little red kufi. Ma salama, ma salama, replied mama and gave him a kiss. Hmm, what piece of advice did the mom give uh, little red Kofi here, Zaria? Um, don't talk to any strangers. Don't talk to the strangers. Fariha, what do you see here in the picture? Um, Alan, oh, a sweat. Masjid, that's right, a masjid. It's a beautiful masjid. The mosque was on the other side of the town. To get there, Little Red Kufi had to go through the date grove. Near the date grove lived a greedy camel. As Little Red Kufi skipped past the date trees, out jumped the greedy camel. Where are you going, little boy? He asked. Ooh. I am taking this basket of dates to the masjid so the people can break their fast at sunset, he answered. Are they tasty? asked the greedy camel. I don't know, answered little red Kufi. I haven't tried one. Well, try one, said the tricky camel. I can't, said Little Red Kofi, I am fasting. Oh, mashallah. When you fast, Zaria, do you eat anything while you're fasting? Mm, Are you no. supposed to be eating anything? No. Are you supposed to be drinking anything? No. no. So, mashallah, Little Red Kofi was strong here, right? Mm -hmm. He did not get tricked by the camel yet. Let's see if uh, he gets tricked or... Or if he's successful, is, uh, successful in going to the masjid. But they look so sweet and tasty. Let's both try one, tempted the camel. No, I can't. I am fasting and now I must be on my way, replied little red Kofi. But secretly, the greedy camel just wanted to eat all the dates for himself. What are you thinking about? Yes, what is he thinking about here? Um, uh, he's thinking about eating all the dates. Yes. Eating all the dates, yes. He's thinking, he's scheming how he can get to eat all the dates that little red Kofi is carrying. Well, give me your basket said the greedy camel. I will take it to the masjid for you. Hmm. Now, what do you think will happen? Would he give the basket to the camel, Fariha? Um, the sweat. Yeah, we don't know, right? You want to find out? Yeah. Yes, okay. I am sorry, but I can't, said little red Kofi. Mama asked me to take the basket to the masjid and that's just what I'm going to do. But thank you anyway. I think he was very respectful in saying no, right? Mashallah. The greedy camel began to plan how he could get the dates. He ran as fast as he could to the masjid. Salam, salam, bellowed the camel as he pushed open the door of the mosque. It's me, Little Red Kofi. I have come with a basket of dates. My God, he's very sneaky camel. Is he giving up easily? No. No, right? He's trying. He's doing his best. Both of them are not giving up. <laughs> there was no answer. The people inside were busy praying, doing dhikr, 
and reading Quran. They didn't hear the greedy camel. The camel peeked its head around the corner. Next to the shoe racks, he saw a little, a white tobe and Kufi hanging on a peg. Oh my God. I don't know what he's thinking of now. I think I might know. You might know? Okay. Then you can read the next page, Zaria. Go ahead. The, cre the greedy camel squeezed into the white thobe. It was very tight. He put Then he put on the goofy. It was very small. Then he waited for the little boy. Were you thinking that this would happen? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see what happens when the boy comes. He's After wearing, a while... He's wearing the white one. Yes. And Back. Yeah, he's is wearing it, a white tobe, just like the uh, little boy. He white tobe? Yeah, white tobe. After a he's while... Wear it on your back. Yeah. So uh, let's see what the little boy is going to do now, okay? Mm -hmm. After a while, the greedy camel heard someone coming through the door. Assalamu alaikum, brother Imam, called little red Kufi. I have brought a basket of dates for the people who are fasting. Walaikum assalam. Come in, come in, snorted the greedy camel as softly as he could. My goodness. Little Red Kofi looked up and saw the Imam. He looked very strange. You want to go ahead and read? Subhanallah, brother Imam, said little red goofy. You look so big and huge. Yes, yes, said the greedy camel. I have been eating too much. But it's Ramadan, said little red goofy. How could you have eaten so much? Oh, I just eat too much at the war and at and then at the store, explain the greedy camel. Say yes, you see donuts, ice cream, ice cream cone, yes. chicken, and this one. What is that, Fariha? Sandwich. How many sandwiches? There's one, two, three. Donut has sprinkles. And um, donut has sprinkles on it. That's and right. Ice cream. And we can taste it. You can taste it with the spoon. Yes, you can taste it with the spoon. That's right. We red, red spoon. We can eat it. Yes. Like to see that too. Yeah. Okay. So let's see what Camel is going to do next. The Camel looked at the basket and said, "Let me try one of your dates." But you can't eat one yet, said the little boy. It's not time to break the fast. The sun is still in the sky. Uh, oh, yes. I almost, I almost forgot, said the sneaky camel. Subhanallah, brother Imam, said little red Kofi, as he stepped closer to the camel. What long arms you have. Yes, yes, said the greedy camel. Yeah, All the better to reach for the Quran. There is one, two. Two arms, right? Red. Mm. Little red Kofi stepped a little closer and said, Subhanallah, brother Imam, what big eyes you have. He has one. Two, one, three. and two big eyes. Zaria, go ahead and read it. Yes, yes, said the greedy camel. All the better to read the Quran with. Little Red Kofi stepped a little more closer and said, Subhanallah, brother Imam, what a big mouth you have. One. Yes, yes, said the greedy camel. All the better to eat those tasty dates. Then he leaped up 
to the grab to grab the basket of dates. Okay. Little Red Kofi yelled and ran. Just then the Imam and the people in the prayer hall came running out and chased away the greedy camel. Phew. Phew. Yeah, phew. <laughs> the Imam thanked Little Red Kofi for bringing the basket of dates and warned him not to talk to strangers again. When Little Red Kofi got home, he told his family all about the greedy camel. Alhamdulillah, you are safe, said his grandma. Alhamdulillah, said little red Kofi. The end. Red Kofi. Yes. Kofi. Now, in order to see how well did you read with us, uh, we'll see if you can answer some questions about the story. So let's get started, Zaria. I need your help here. Go ahead, ask the first question. Who was the red goofy loved by? His father, his his mother, his father, his grandma, everyone. What is the answer? Hmm. Her dad. Her dad. <laughs> his dad. Yes, his dad loved him. His mother loved him. His father loved him and his grandma loved him. So I guess he was loved by everyone. Yeah, and he was loved most by his grandma. Yes. Next turn is my turn to ask it's your mine, question. It's okay? my camera. Yes, that's your camera. He was called Little Red Kofi because he wore a blue kofi, because he wore a red kofi. He wore a green coffee. Green coffee. <laughs> or he liked coffee. Coffee. It's so much coffee. Yes. What's the right answer, Zaria? So he wore a red coffee. That's right. That's why he was called Little Red Coffee. Who so made blue red coffees? Yeah. Mom. Or dad. Or dad. Or. Or grandmother. Or. Dad. or the camel who made red kufis? Uh, the, the grandmother. 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 Next is your turn, Zaria. Little red kufi lived near the masjid, the imam, a date grove. The little red kufi lived near the masjid. It cannot be the masjid because he was going to the masjid. And the imam was in the masjid. So he was not really going to the imam's house. He was going to the masjid. So that is out. Um, lit, so the answer, and it makes more sense from the story, uh, is that the little red kufi lived near a date grove. Am I correct, Zaria? Mm -hmm. OK. Let's go to the next question. Mm -hmm. Little red kufi's mother wanted him to take the basket to the camel, the masjid, or the date grove? Or oh, the masjid. The, the masjid. The masjid. Yes. Why did she want him to go to the masjid? So that um, the people who are fasting can break their fast with um, the day. Yeah. Little Red Koof, this is your, I'm sorry, this is your turn now. Little Red Koofy's mother said, don't talk to strangers, talk to strangers. Ha. Huh. Don't talk to strangers or talk to strangers. I think the first one is the right answer. Don't talk to strangers. Mm -hmm. Why are we not supposed to talk to the strangers, Zaria? Because we don't know who they are and they might be bad people. They might be bad people. That's right. Okay. This is the last question that we had. Now we will go to our surprise, which is... Uh, making our little red kufi okay so for that as we said to you all earlier we need a sheet of paper yes. so for us we have two so i want zaria to follow with me inshallah and then we just need a pair of scissors inshallah okay let's get started yes. so we have a sheet of paper so what i'm gonna do is I'm going to fold this sheet of paper into uh, 
a triangle maybe. Okay. Yeah. Like not so triangle. I fold it like sideways like this. So, and then I want to cut this extra piece of paper. So I will have a perfect or almost perfect square, inshallah. Okay. So, so graduate. Yes, go ahead and do that. Okay. While I'm cutting with the um, scissors here, we have. Okay. We're cutting a bad Hello. Say hello. Oh, grandma. So, yeah. So after you cut it, it should be like this. Now it's like a square. You see it? It's like a, mashallah, a perfect square. Okay? So now let's fold it into half horizontally. Okay? Half. See? Like this. I fold it into a half. There you go. Now... I'm going to fold this half into half again, like this, okay? Make sure when you're folding that uh, you fold it tightly so, it, so there are creases that are formed because that's very important. So now I have it here. Remember, we had an open sheet of paper then we fold it into half then we fold it again into half okay so we should have like a small tiny square what is the shape of this paper zari fariha um square square that's right okay so now i have this so this part is a little bit tricky okay so you see that we have all these open sides so we are going to fold this like that, like this, okay? So we have it, there you go, awesome, okay? So we got it like that. Now the rest of the three, pieces of paper if you see the three we're going to fold it the other way now okay small yeah triangle. yeah that's right like it is becoming like a triangle right it's a paper yes so if you see it we have one that we have folded here then we have the other three that are folded. And then we are just making creases, right? So that we can form a kufi. So now we have a little red kufi for Fariha. <laughs> Do you like your little red kufi, Fariha? Yeah. Do you want to put this kufi on the camel? No, oh, it's too big. <laughs> yeah, it's too big for him. No. No. Do you like this? No. <laughs> no. I want a pink one. You want a pink one? Okay. It's okay. Too big for me. It's too big for me. I you. want a small pink one. You want a small pink one? Okay, inshallah. We can make you a small pink one later on. Now, do you need help, Saria? Yeah. Okay, so you got that right. Awesome. Now, Zarya has done a good job of folding this. So, we want us to fold it again into half like that. Okay, Zarya, go ahead red and do that. Kofi. Red kofi. Yeah, it's red kofi. It's too big for me. It's too, too big. big for you. It's, I want a pink, pink one. Yeah, so oh, there you go. Red one. You have this one half. Very good, Zarya. Uh, now fold it into one more half. I can't put it in my head. It's put in my head, okay. Mom. Okay, good job. Now fold it into, she folded it into half again. 
Now, as I told you, this is where the tricky part is, right? You have to take this one flap. And put it like that. Yeah. Go ahead, Zaria. Go ahead. So there you go. Zaria did this. She folded into one flap over here. Then what do you do with the other three flaps, Zaria? You put it like that. Good job. Go ahead and do it. Okay. Go ahead, go ahead. It's yes. not, it's not yeah. fitting to me. Yeah, it's not fitting. <laughs> it's too so Zaria did the same thing over here. Three flaps here, and uh, one flap here, and then we are going to fold it this way. So it can stay as a kufi. So. We have two kufis right here, red kufis. <laughs> yes, little it's red small. kufi. It's, it's too small. small. <laughs> Fariha wants a pink one, so we have to, after this video, we have to make pink one for her, inshallah. So, alhamdulillah, we really enjoyed reading the story today with you all and enjoyed making this craft with you. Uh, I hope you did the same as well. Uh, again, we have only a few days of Ramadan left, so I would remind you all again to continue to donate for our Ansar program. Uh, we have been sharing the link and the information in our newsletter uh, every week. So, um, my little readers, uh, and uh, please ask your parents to continue to support so that we can uh, continue to provide um, the education and fulfill the needs of the um, uh, orphans, the 21 orphans that we have taken the task on supporting. Uh, so please go ahead and um, if you haven't made the donation yet, please, um, I encourage you. Uh, this is a time for you to earn more reward and uh, get blessings. Please um, go to our newsletter uh, that we have uh, sent out this week. It has a link to make donation. Please make your donation. Zaria and Fariha, do you want to say together, please yeah. make a donation to yeah. support our Ansar program yeah. together? Okay. One, two, three, go. Please, please make, make a, a donation, donation for our Ansar program. program to support our Ansar program. Okay. Assalamu alaikum. See you soon again next week. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Give you salam, Zara Farina. Walaikum salam. Okay, alhamdulillah.